Overhead costing allows you to allocate overhead costs to the appropriate objects by applying a percentage or quantity-based fixed amount to a specified cost base. Overhead application is based on primary cost elements that you can post directly to the order. In the manufacturing industry, for example, the primary cost elements are usually labor and material costs. You can apply overhead costs to both planned and actual costs or apply overhead costs based on commitment data. For testing and forecasting purposes, you can simulate overhead cost calculations, but you cannot update the data in the database. The results of the calculations are displayed as statistics and any errors are recorded in an error log. You can print out both the statistics and the error log. The overhead costing sheet contains the rules for applying overhead costs. The overhead costing sheet combines three central elements that are used to calculate overhead costs. These elements are calculation base, overhead rate, and credit. The calculation base specifies the cost element base to which you apply overhead, such as the material cost elements. You can further restrict the base by identifying the origin of the cost elements. The origin field subdivides the cost element by material. The overhead amount allows you to define the overhead to be applied by using any of the following approaches. In the percentage overhead approach, you identify the base cost elements and apply the overhead percentage to the costs posted to these cost elements. The system adds the calculated cost as overhead. In the quantity-based overhead approach, you specify the overhead cost to be applied for every quantity unit posted to the calculation-based cost elements. In this approach, you must record the units of measure in management accounting. Dependencies allow you to differentiate overhead rates or amounts by plant, company code, profit center, responsible cost center, order type, or other criteria. Overhead orders can be the receivers of cost center activity allocations. In a cost center activity allocation, you enter the activity quantity in the transaction and then calculate cost using the plan price or a manual actual price. Revaluation allows you to revaluate cost center activity allocations based on an automatically generated calculation of actual price. You can use activity based costing, COOM. ABC to allocate the costs from business processes to overhead orders. The allocation is defined by a process template developed in COOM ABC. To minimize the number of postings in financial accounting, collect the primary postings, such as telephone costs, on a clearing cost center, or on an order. Then allocate the costs with a user defined key to the appropriate objects in management accounting, such as an overhead cost order at period end closing. The system records the line items for both the sender and receiver in order to document the allocations exactly. You can reverse periodic allocations and repeat them as often as desired. You can credit an order during a periodic reposting. To do this, you define the order in a segment of its life cycle as a sender which you can credit, debiting various different receiver object types. You define how the order is credited by using one of the flexible allocation rules that are available. As illustrated in the figure, 
Crediting an order using fixed percentages is just one of the options available. You use overhead orders as an interim collector of costs and as an aid to the planning, monitoring, and reporting processes. When the task is complete, the costs are passed on to their final destination, such as cost centers, work breakdown structure, or WBS elements, and profitability segments. This process is called settlement. In settlement, you allocate some or all of the costs posted to an order to one or more receivers. The system automatically generates the offset postings that credits the order. You can process settlement for individual orders or collectively for a group of orders. The costs gathered on an order can be settled on a variety of account assignment objects, as illustrated in the figure. Settlement to an asset or general ledger or GL account is an external settlement because financial accounting is updated by the settlement. Settlement to one of the remaining objects is an internal settlement in management accounting. You optionally settle statistically to a cost center, statistical order, or statistical WBS element in addition to the actual receivers. Order settlement is not mandatory. The orders can remain debited without ever settling the costs. Before you can settle an order, you must specify where you want to post the costs. You define the settlement with any of the following procedures. Basic settlement. Basic settlement allows you to settle 100% of the costs to one cost center or to one GL account under one cost element. You enter the data in period end closing on the order master record. Extended settlement. Extended settlement allows you to create your own settlement rules in the order master record. These settlement rules can be used to settle costs to one or more receivers and allow a wide range of receivers such as WBS elements, sales orders, and profitability segments. Specify how the costs are to be split, that is distribution rules. In extended settlement, you control the settlement process using assignments in the settlement parameters on the order master record. These parameters include the settlement profile, settlement structure, PA transfer structure, and so on. The settlement profile, which specifies the default values for the other parameters, is derived from the order type. The individual settlement parameters can then be changed on the order master record. You specify a settlement profile in the master record even if you are using basic settlement. You must specify which receiver object types are to be permitted. The settlement profile defines the following settings. The settlement profile determines where the settlement is required. The settlement profile specifies valid settlement receivers and proposes these in the order master record, such as cost center for the receiver. The settlement profile sets settlement indicators, including the valid methods for apportioning costs. The settlement profile defines document management parameters. The settlement profile identifies the default values for the other settlement parameters on the order master record, specifically the settlement structure, PA transfer structure, and the source structure. The allocation structure controls how original cost elements are assigned to settlement cost elements. You also have the option of settling by using the original cost element which also exists. The PA transfer structure controls how cost elements are assigned to value fields in costing-based PA. Use the PA transfer structure only if you settle internal orders directly to PA. The source structure controls settlement to different receivers depending on the original cost elements that were posted to the order. You enter the distribution rules in the settlement rule overview screen. The distribution rule specifies which portion of the order costs should be settled to which receiver. Each line in the distribution table defines the allocation to a particular receiver. You allocate costs to the receivers based on one of the following parameters. Percentage, equivalence number, fixed amounts. The SAP system ensures that you cannot create a rule containing an amount as well as an equivalence number or a percentage. You can change the distribution rules within a settlement rule only 
if you assign different validity periods to them. The following settlement types are defined in the system for overhead orders. Settlement type PER settles only the costs for the period you specify. Settlement type FUL settles all costs on a sender object that have been incurred until and including the specified settlement period. The categories of settlement cost elements are as follows. An internal settlement cost element, cost element type 21, is used when you settle to a management accounting object such as a cost center, order, or WBS element. An external settlement cost element, cost element type 22, is used when you settle to an asset or a GL account. After settlement, the costs incurred originally on the order are still visible regardless of the approach you select. This allows you to analyze and report on your order costs at any time. Each time you settle an object, a settlement document is created. You define the number range for settlement documents during system configuration. To manage data volumes, you define in the settlement profile the retention period after which you can archive the settlement document. In addition to the settlement document, the system also creates the following documents. A document in financial accounting containing all accounting related data for external settlement only. A document in management accounting containing purely cost accounting related data. The allocation structure allows you to define the settlement cost element used to settle a group of cost elements. To use the allocation structure, Create the cost element groups that contain the primary and secondary cost elements used for debit posting to your orders. In customizing, you link the cost element group to the settlement structure with a settlement assignment. For each settlement assignment, you stipulate by receiver type whether the settlement will use the original posted cost elements or a designated settlement cost element. Use settlement cost elements for the following tasks. To reduce data volumes by combining several debit cost elements under one settlement cost element. To differentiate costs allocated from orders to the receiver and to describe their purpose, such as repairs or maintenance. The source structure, also set in customizing, enables you to settle cost element groups to receivers by using different settlement rules. That is, the total debit for the order can be split up and settled within the relevant groups. The debits in the internal order are structured in the source structure according to the cost elements. To use the source structure, insert it into the settlement profile or activate it in the master data for internal orders. You settle every single line item in capital investment orders individually. If you do not want to settle each item individually, use a source structure to settle all items. In the source structure, you combine the primary and secondary cost elements used for debit postings to your order into source assignments. You use the source assignments to allocate different types of costs to different receivers. In the example, all material costs have been settled to one receiver order, but the personnel costs have been split up and settled into two receiver cost centers. You do not need a source structure to settle all your cost elements according to the same rules. To use the source structure that you defined in customizing, enter the source structure in the settlement parameters of the order master record. Once you have made your selection, an additional column, Origin Settlement, is displayed in the Settlement rule. This allows you to enter a source assignment for each distribution.